Well, we went back to the cabins and had some lunch, rested up, and now we are back in the park and we are going to check out McKinley Station Trail. It's about a three mile trail and we are excited to try it out. Is there like a bridge or something? I don't know. I don't know much about it. We use the All Trails app to find trails to walk and we don't know much about the trail. We just know that it's about three and a half miles and it's a loop, right? It starts kind of back behind the visitor center, which is closed <laughs> because of COVID. It's about 5.30 or 6, I'm not sure exactly what time, but as you can see, it's nice and sunny. Sun sets around midnight these days, and that leaves lots of hiking time. So this trail is kind of a few different trails that weave together and because of that we were finished, well we will be finished a little early and it'll spit us out on Denali Park Road. And so I think what we're going to do is finish up the Taiga Trail. This morning we were going to finish the Horseshoe Lake Trail with the Taiga Trail. And that didn't work out because we kept hearing thunder and it was cooling down really fast and we saw storm clouds. I don't know that it ever actually rained, but I was pretty nervous about getting stuck in the rain. So we kind of hoofed it to the car and didn't do the rest of the Taiga, tra taiga Trail. Now we did do a little bit of it last year when we did the Mount Healy Overlook Trail. Oh my God, that trail was so hard. I think we'll end up doing Tiger Trail because we've got some time and anyway how's it going so far not too bad I like this trail yeah it's nice it's real easy Horseshoe Lake Trail is nice but on the way back it's pretty good incline would you say yeah you're just like walking up five or six flights of stairs yeah so this is nice because it's just flat which is nice and we got to see all sorts of like like a little train trellis and a bridge and ravens and it's right by the water so it's been nice Ooh. I felt a raindrop Told you. <laughs> it has been nice this weekend well today it's been really nice because it's kept it pretty cool like I think we were sweating at first when we started this morning but then we cooled off quite a bit but I'm starting to feel some raindrops now so I'm gonna put this away so it doesn't get wet okay false alarm after we ate lunch the cabins were having a porch puppy party and I didn't have this camera with me but I did have my phone and I was trying to get video without getting people's faces so it's not going to be great but here's some of that footage.
earlier today, Brian and I were talking. And I asked him a question. If you had to make a small menu for a restaurant, like Brian's restaurant or Taylor's restaurant, you have three appetizers, three entrees, three desserts. Three, that's three. <laughs> three desserts. What would be on it? So, what you got? Okay, some appetizers. Bread and dipping sauce. So if you want like just a regular breadstick and olive oil, or if you want cheesy bread and marinara sauce, or mix and match, you know, whatever you want. Um, I love that idea. Two would be mozzarella sticks. And or three would be like loaded sweet potato fries. Okay, my appetizers would be um, a fry flight. So like a small portion of three different types of fries. I'm thinking like truffle fries, just like good old classic sea salt fries, and then like sweet potato fries. Fried pickles, not spears, um, like the little coins. And what was my other one I said? Oh, it's a very specific answer. My third thing would be chips and cheese from Fanny's on the beach from Tybee. <laughs> now for your three entrees. Chicken farm sandwich, country fried steak, That's right. biscuits and gravy. I think you said that. Or yeah. mac, and mac and cheese. And mac and cheese. So helpful. Yeah. My three entrees are my favorites from before I cut back on meat. So they would have uh, vegetarian options. <laughs> First would be chicken piccata over angel hair pasta. Don't at me. Angel hair pasta is the best. Unpopular opinion, maybe, but I love those tiny skinny noodles with like capers and like a cream sauce. A French dip sandwich because you just can't go wrong. I can't remember what I actually said for my third entree, but now that I'm thinking, it needs to be something Asian inspired. So it would either be the Thai curry bowls that we make with broccoli and peanuts, or maybe it would be pad thai because I do love pad thai. <gasps> Just never translates on camera. Okay, and then the three desserts would, for me would be Bananas Foster, Sopapilla, and I think I said cheesecake. Oh, I'm gonna replace the cheesecake, which is what I said earlier. I'm gonna replace that strawberry shortcake, but like a cake version of strawberry shortcake, like angel food cake, strawberries, a cool whip, light layer, fluffy layer. What are your desserts? It's creme brulee, but like triple the normal <laughs> serving. Red velvet cake. Of course. And basically like edible cookie dough that's mixed with stuff to make a dip that you could just have like. Yeah. That's a great, yeah. that's a great idea. All along the trails are these little wildflowers and it makes me so happy because they even grow like where it's rocky. And they're purple, my favorite. got the thermosol and a water bottle and that looks like a dip can but it's actually <laughs> a lens cap <laughs> so that's Denali Park Road and then you walk beside this railroad track here and that's where we went earlier to do the Horseshoe Lake Trail but right across from here is the Taiga Trail and if you're looking to do the Mount Healy Overlook Trail, which is one we did last year, probably the most advanced one we've ever done, you take the Taiga Trail to get there as well. So what does that sound? I don't know what kind.
We made a friend. Hi. Hello. Random waterfall in the midst of all this. We pulled over and parked right on the side of the park's highway because there was this waterfall. We always drive past, we have never stopped. We just zoom past it and we're like, oh no, we missed the waterfall again. So we very carefully this time made sure we stopped. 